Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I bring you another airdrop. This is Starknet. And this project is building a very big ecosystem. This is also a layer two solution for Ethereum. And with this project, I think it's time to get a lot of money with this airdrop, guys. I'm going to cover, of course, everything about the project. You can see the big ecosystem that they have. And we are going to do step by step on how to get this airdrop, all the possible scenarios. I'm going to go into most of the things, but there are many things in order to apply. So I have to be honest, this is a little bit tricky, but if you follow my video, you're going to be okay. So before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notification. Like always, follow me in Twitter at CryptoCState if you want to be up to date with news and charts and other stuff. But for this tutorial, you are going to need a little bit of time and patience because for this, you are going to need another wallet. And because it's a little difficult, I am sure that we are going to get a lot of airdrop because not many people is going to apply here. Guys, let's go into the video. So guys, Startnet revolution is coming out of the woods and you can see this is a, a layer two solution. And if you start scrolling all the wallets and projects that are building, you can see that some of them are live and another are in testnet. So we are really, really early here. So for sure, we are going to be able to apply for an airdrop if that happens. But the ecosystem is actually growing every week. And if we go to layer2bit.com, you can see that Starknet is here at position 18. But I think this information is not really updated. But in terms of technological point of view, they are planning a purpose to be an universal layer 2 solution with Zikai rollup. So we can compare it in terms of technology with Zikai Sync, which is another project that I did a video on how to get the airdrop. So go and check that. And check my other videos because there's an airdrop for optimism right now with the quest, the Zik Sync airdrop, and I have many other videos on Arbitrum. All the boosts that you can get for Arbitrum airdrop in order to get more than twenty thousand dollars for this. So go and check all that, guys. A lot of airdrops coming here, very important ones. And in a bear market, instead of just crying for the Bitcoin price movements of 1%, you could be doing the airdrops to earn money. So this layer 2 solution is actually very important and I think it's really under the radar. So I think we could get a lot of money from Starknet. So shout out to the DeFi Saint. I'm going to do the tutorial that he explained for the airdrop. You can follow him in Twitter if you want. But let's start with this. So the first thing is that we need to go to 10k swap and this is a DX on Starknet. There are many things that are just only for Starknet guys. So that is why this tutorial is a little bit tricky. So here the protocol is already in mainnet. So we are already applying in mainnet. So that is good. And the strategy here is make a swap and add liquidity. Airdrop confirmation, he put possible airdrop. So we are not sure if this actually applies for the airdrop. But of course, in many other airdrops, having swaps in the different DXs of the project and adding liquidity into any pool is always one of the things that you generate good transactions for the airdrop. So first, let's go to that. 10kswap.com is the website. The first thing that you are going to notice here is that we, for connecting here, we cannot use our MetaMask or we wallet. We need a specific wallet for Starknet. So if you click connect wallet, you are going to see that you can get Brabos or install Argent X. I install it Brabos, so you can click there. I am already connected, but if you don't have this wallet, you are going to be pumped to add the wallet. And like MetaMask and others, you need to put your password. You need to write down your recovery phrase. So do that like with any other MetaMask wallet installation. Once you have that, it will look something like this. This is a Chrome extension. And you can see I don't have any balance, but pay attention to this. If you click this corner, you can see that we have the Starnet Net mainnet, which is the live, the mainnet, and we have Starnet Guerly. And this is similar, like was for Sick I Sync videos that I did. Starnet Guerly is a testnet. So you have the mainnet and the testnet to connect on the wallet. So pay attention to that because 
For the airdrop we need to do some stuff on the mainnet and another stuff in the garlic starnet. So pay attention so don't confuse that. Because in the mainnet we are going to move real ethereum but for the starnet garlic we are going to go to the faucet to get fake ethereum just to test and do what the airdrop tutorial is requiring. So once you install it, your uh, wallet here, we need to send funds first for the startnet mainnet. I think that is more important than the testnet. So let's do that first. So guys, now that we have Bravos connected, the new wallet for startnet, we are going to bridge some Ethereum into the startnet mainnet. For that, I'm going to use orbiter.finance. I just try to do it in stargate.startnet.io. But here you can only move it from the mainnet Ethereum into Snarnet and that is cost me a lot of gas fees, like $40 right now. So it's crazy. I'm going to go into Arbitrum.finance and I will move from Arbitrum into Starknet. So what I am doing, going to do is I click here and put Arbitrum. If you have Ethereum in any of these wallets, you can bridge it. So it's okay for you. And then I here I'm going to put startnet, which is down here. Once I got that, I will connect a wallet. And what you can see, I connect my MetaMask, which has my opt, my Arbitrum tokens. And the other wallet is my Bravos wallet. So you can confirm here BE1. So BE1 is connected. So like you can see here, both wallets are connected. This one is for Starknet and the other one here is from Ethereum, my MetaMask. So now I will move some Ethereum from my Arbitrum wallet into the Starknet wallet of Bravos. You can see there's a little of fee and I will click send. Confirm and send. Confirm the transaction. And now you need to wait a little bit for this processing. So yeah, like you can see, I am sending 0.02 Ethereum from Arbitrum, which is a layer two solution, into another layer two solution on Starnet in two different wallets. So now I will have in Bravos, in Starnet mainnet, the tokens that I am sending from MetaMask Arbitrum. This could take like five minutes, guys. So let's wait for that. You can see now that this is completed. It only took three minutes. So now if I open my Bravos network wallet, you can see that I have 0.01999 Ethereum. So now that we load with Ethereum our mainnet starnet, we can start with the tutorial again. So go here to 10kswap.com again, click connect. So you connect with your Bravos wallet. Be sure that you are in the mainnet. And now you can see that I have balance of Ethereum here. So let's do some trade here. I will trade for USDC. Let's say $1 here. I will click swap, confirm, sign the transaction. And you can see that the transaction was submitted. You can see it here on the start scan.co that was received and it's been processing. This is in mainnet guide. So this is already counting for your airdrop. I will close this. You can see that it's pending. So we are going to wait until I see my balance here. And the other thing required here was to add liquidity. So I'm going to add liquidity against USDC and Ethereum. Now that I have my USDC balance, I'm going to go to the pool. And there's some space here for Ethereum USDC. So I will click new position. I will put my max for USDC, so automatically will match that with my Ethereum and I will click deposit. Confirm supply, sign the transaction. And again, you can see this in start scan. It says that takes almost less than a minute to do this. So you can click close and wait for that. So doing that, you already did the step one which was in 10k swap, you already bridged it into the network and you already did two transactions, one swap and one liquidity pool into the mainnet. So that is the most important. So for now we are going to step the, the second step, which is in the, in the test net. In, but you can do it anyways if you want for your own. The strategy is that you need to mint ASTR token 
but you need to connect to the testnet there and then you need to stake that and claim harvest rewards over time and invest in IDOs in the launchpad. But let's move to the point three. Here, the strategy is to be an active user and use the swap futures, possible airdrop confirmation. And you can see there's a tweet here about that. So you can see the Twitter account, they have 233k followers and it's followed by Polygonmatic. So this is actually a very important project. So Urgent is another self-custody wallet. So we need to download this. You can do it in your phone or in your Chrome extension. You need to click continue in everything, put a password and your wallet is ready. Now I will swap a little bit from my Bravos wallet into the Asian X wallet here. Remember to be in mainnet in both. So now you can see guys that I already have five dollars in my Ethereum account in an Argent uh, wallet. I move it from here from my Bravos wallet. So I click here on Bravos, put the address from the other wallet and the amount here and transfer it. So it's very easy and takes like five minutes. So you already are using this. Here says that be an active user, so transfer into the wallet in the mainnet is already doing that. And use the swap futures, but I don't see any swap futures there. So for now we are going to leave it there. So I already have the Argent wallet and I already have funds there. Moving into the point four, you can see that they mentioned Bravos, which is the one that we already have here. So this is another DX, just like Ergent, and you need to be an active user and use the wallet swap futures. And here, yes, I can see the swap futures. We are already an active user because it was the first wallet that I took. So I'm going to swap something here. So I'm going to swap 0.1 DAI. You can see the swap was correctly done. And in activity, you can see all the things that you did. You swap already tokens, add liquidity, transfer, so you're being an active user here. So point four Bravos is already done here. And guys, this tutorial is really, really long, so I cannot continue going here. You can message me in the comment section if you have any doubt, but basically you need to do the same with everything. First, do it like I am doing with the mainnet. If you see something that is still for the testnet, for now we skip it. Try to do everything in the mainnet that is telling here. And after you finish with all the mainnet type, because it's 13 guys, and I cannot really do a video about all that. But for example, the point 10 is Orbiter Finance. You need to uh, use the bridge. So we already did that. We bridge from Arbitrum into Starknet. So this is already done. So you can see some of them are a little more difficult than others, but basically that is what you need to do, guys. Use everything in the mainnet first, and then you can start with point two, which is in the testnet, to mint some a ASTR tokens. Basically, ASTR tokens are Astralia tokens. You can go here, testnet.astralite. You go here, you connect your wallet, which is your Bravos, and you click mint. Remember to be connected to your Bravos uh, testnet. Right now I am the mainnet, so you need to go into the testnet and you need to send funds from the faucet. Again, all the links are in the description, so you can do this step by step, but you probably guys already have a lot of experience doing this for another airdrop, so it shouldn't be so difficult for you. The only difficulty that I saw is that you need a new wallet that maybe you didn't use it and maybe you need to bridge between two different wallets. But besides that, that is already covered in my video. You need to go and do step by step everything here. Also, I recommend you, and this is between you and me, use more than one wallet, guys. You can get more reward if you do all this with more than one wallet. That will multiply your rewards of the airdrop in the future a lot. So that is all for the video, guys. Remember, I have the CK Sync testnet airdrop. This is actually complete step by step and I also have the Arbitrum airdrop videos and the Optimism airdrop videos here two days ago. Guys that is all for the video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and I will see you in the next video. Bye.